Welcome to the Essentials of Everfit Program Design Educational Series. My name is Trevor, and this is a collaboration between Everfit University and Empower Human Performance. So in this course, we're going to introduce some baseline foundational principles. We'll talk about being an educated coach, practitioner, and trainer. We'll dive into what entails a comprehensive assessment. We'll dive into creating a needs analysis, which is arguably the most important of creating a foundationally really solid program. We'll go into some of the baseline principles of exercise prescription, talk about some of the platform variables that are included in EverFit, such as tempo, and we'll also discuss some ancillary topics in exercise prescription, such as program design for conditioning or using AMRAPs um, and so on, EMOMs during program design. So before we get started, a quick in introduction about myself. Uh, my name is Trevor again. I'm an exercise physiologist at the University of Hawaii. Uh, I've coached NFL athletes, a few Olympians, and uh, hundreds of collegiate athletes. I've done over a thousand gait analysis with slow motion video capture. I currently sit on the National Strength Conditioning Association board for Hawaii. Um, and previous to my role here in, at the university, I was a former COO of a multi-million dollar training studio in San Francisco, uh, and I also got to play collegiate football. So I've definitely been uh, around the block a bit uh, and worked in a lot of different settings, um, but quick background on myself and why uh, I feel like I can sit here and have this conversation with you guys. So let's get into the content. Um, it's really important to consider as a coach, being an educated coach or trainer, and I want to talk about what that means. This doesn't mean that you got your college degree. This doesn't mean that you um, are consistently, you know, just, just reading articles or doing your thing, but it's that you employ a scientific method and have a systematic solution to problems that come up in your training, AKA, are you doing pre post test analysis on your clients or individuals that you work with? It's really, really important to understand that the basis of physiology is based around applying a stress and seeing how the body responds to that stress. So the reason we train is because we induce a stress and that our body responds to that stress by improving its functional capacity. Okay? So at the basis of our training, at the basis principle of stress and response, it's really important as practitioners to consider the scientific method to really, really educate ourselves on what's going on in that specific situation. Uh, we know there's a lot of basic principles like the principle of specificity and the principle of individuality that will really change how someone adapts to a specific stimulus. So with that, uh, if you have an athlete, client, uh, individual that you're working with, if there's something going on, it's really, really critical to continuously be coming up with hypotheses, continuously be collecting data uh, and, and know if that individual is improving pre-post and then kind of confirming or refuting your findings, okay, accepting or rejecting like, okay, my program is really solid. Let's say you have um, an individual that comes to you and they want to jump higher, right? In 12 weeks, are they jumping higher, jumping the same or not jumping as well? Right. That will tell you a lot about the training program that you employed, the stress, the stimulus, and maybe it's too much stress if they're not getting better, or maybe they have gotten a lot better. So it's really, really important to continue your practice as an exercise scientist, as a coach and trainer. Um, also, if you're not familiar with finding peer-reviewed articles, really, really critical to make sure that you're getting your resources from uh, validated sources. So using something like Google Scholar or uh, subscribing to a journal will be a great way to elevate your game as a coach and trainer. So the message really to drive home here is that we're all scientists, right? We are all exercise scientists. We are scientist coaches. We introduce a stimulus and we systematically evaluate this response pre-post. Okay, I'm going to put this individual through this program and I want this result. What separates the good from the great is quantifying that change and adapting either on the fly or reflecting backwards and optimizing that process 
So over the years, you can develop a really, really solid and sound program, which we're going to talk about how to create an optimized program today in this webinar. Okay. So do not forget big takeaway. We are all exercise scientists. Make sure that you're doing pre post test analysis, whether it's for their mile time, whether it's body fat percentage, weight, uh, one RM, whatever that variable might be, be sure that you're systematically evaluating your individual's responses to the training that you are prescribing them. 